Now it is time to check out the new tank that's been added in the Avenger platoon. I'm not really sure why they replaced the tank, but nonetheless I think it's going to be a pretty interesting vehicle to drive. Now if I remember correctly, the previous vehicle was a Church, I think it was a Churchill 3. So this is a Churchill NA75 and honestly this thing kinda looks awesome. It has a more rounded turret, the previous Churchill had a flat turret which was very weak and overall was easily, uh, was, you know, uh, very easy to penetrate. Now, it has decent penetration I would say, decent armor, and overall the turret rotation is also really good, but it's reverse speed, 2 km per hour in reverse, well yeah, uh, basically non-existent reverse gear. And it goes 28 count per hour in uh, in the normal uh, in the normal gear. So I think this might be a very interesting vehicle. Uh, I like the rate of fire on on this thing. It should uh, fire pretty quickly. Now this is not a premium tank. Uh, this is the ordinary Avenger platoon. So yeah, I think this vehicle will be pretty fun to play. And well, with that being said, let's see what the Churchill NA75 can do. Now, this vehicle has a couple of different types of ammunition, and I usually use APCBC, but uh, I mean, yeah, I think that's going to be. Yeah, this is going to be the, the ammo types that I'm going to be using. So, uh, how do you play this vehicle? So, uh, it's very similar to the mouse. You should angle the vehicle as much as you can. And I'll give you a very good example on how to do it. Now, the frontal armor is good, but the Churchill has some weak spots. And you really want to... Uh, make sure that those weak spots are well hidden. Now at this range, in the low tier, uh, it's not going to be a big problem. Although, uh, you still have to be careful around a, a lot of enemy tanks. And this is basically the, the way you want to be angled. You have to cover the front frontal armor, the, the frontal upper plates of the Churchill, because you have several different spots where you can get penetrated. Now once angled like this, the only weak spot that you might have is turrets, although at this range uh, the turret of the Churchill is really, uh, really tough, so you don't have to worry about that against the vast majority of vehicles, but still, uh, you should try to shoot the tanks that are going to be posing a threat, which means most of the Panzers, for example, they have very good guns and you should try to make them the primary target. If possible, of course, although I would say shoot, uh, shoot the most dangerous target, but at the same time, if you can get some easy kills, then get some easy kills. Now the main gun on this tank does, uh, does fire rapidly as you can see, but its accuracy is not the best. Since this is a short barrel 75mm cannon, it is, you know, not that accurate. And the average penetration is okay at best, but against some more heavily armored targets, you might not be able to... Uh, you might not be able to penetrate their armor, so you have to go and basically try to go to their side or disable their gun and then the track. I mean, there is a lot of different options to choose from. Now, what I'm uh, interested in, why did they replace the previous Churchill? I mean, this Churchill is definitely much better than the previous one. The previous Churchill with its flat turret was a very very easy target. And I don't, I don't know where they put the other Churchill in. I think... I believe actually that, uh, that that Churchill became a premium tank, although I'm not entirely sure, but... 
But I'm fairly sure that they didn't completely remove the vehicle, it's still somewhere in the game. Although, I have to say, I'm, I'm quite a fan of this tank, uh, have enjoyed it so far. And low tier games are usually really fun by default, so... I'm not really complaining about this tank at all, it's, it's a very fun vehicle, honestly. It does kind of feel like a premium tank, but... It's not a premium tank, it's just the, the ordinary platoon, but a new vehicle. Now, as you can see, at this distance, I can't really penetrate the T-34. Have to get a little bit closer and have to try to hit the weak spot, which is the turret. So, accuracy at long distances is definitely not, you know, uh, not that good. You can penetrate the flat armor of the panzers, you can penetrate most of the flat surfaces, flat surface armors, basically, but angled armors at distance and heavily armored vehicles will be a problem with the church, with, with the church at least from distance. Once you get close, the accuracy of the main gun will be, will be improved. Now, tanks that are going to be uh, dangerous are KV, KV-1, KV-2 tanks. They have very good armor and uh, I would say the KV-1 does feel like it has a better main gun than the Churchill. Although the KV-2 is going to be the the most dangerous tank because the KV-2 can break the turrets easily. I mean, it doesn't have to penetrate. The KV-2's AC shell, if it impacts the frontal turrets armor of the Churchill, it just breaks it. The, the Churchill just dies. Or, you know, if it fires high explosive, then it just overpressures the tank. So KV-2 is a very dangerous target and you should definitely try to avoid uh, fighting a KV-2 head-on if they're of course, not reloading. If they are reloading, well, that's a easy kill. Although, you can penetrate the KV-2 turret armor with the Churchill easily, since it is a flat surface, but you don't want the KV-2 to shoot you, because the KV, well, the KV-2 is the best rank 2 vehicle in the game at the moment. Okay, that's a Panzer IV. The damage that you are going to be doing with the other shells, with the more, let's say, with the better shells on the Churchill, is actually pretty good. Uh, the spalling is good, the shrapnel does go uh, all over the enemy tank, so that's good. The tank will be able to disable other enemy vehicles with ease. And that was a very good match. I got a lot of metals there, that's a lot of metals, and overall, that was pretty solid. Let's go to the... Let's go to the next match. You know, honestly, I didn't expect that I would enjoy the Churchill, I mean, uh, so far... It's a pretty interesting vehicle, that's for sure. The only thing that's kind of lacking is a better main gun, although the Churchill actually fought against Tigers in World War II. And you have, you have all the stories where the Churchill actually disabled the Tiger tank by shooting it between the turret and the hull, basically the turret ring. And once you put a shell there, it jams the turrets, can't really uh, rot, and sometimes it actually did penetrate and completely wreck the tank, so that's very interesting. Now, as when I said that this tank does play very similar to the mouse, uh, you can use the same angling tactic, uh, and basically, once you angle the armor correctly, it's going to be very difficult for the enemy to penetrate. Only, I, I believe only high caliber, high explosive shells can do some damage, but the vast majority of tanks are not going to be able to 
uh, go through your angled armor, especially if it's you know properly angled. There are some vehicles that might that might be able to, but it shouldn't be a big problem. And they now you cannot shoot through those uh, those wagons anymore, unfortunately, which is. I don't know, I really like that feature. And that was one of the best hits I've ever had, by the way. No. Surprisingly, sometimes the Churchill's accuracy isn't that bad. Which is funny. Uh, it, it seems like at about 300 meters, the, the accuracy starts to significantly drop off. Which I would say it's okay because this is a very short barreled main gun. And it has machine guns that I rarely use, but. The, the the main gun is really not the best on this thing, so that would be one of the drawbacks on the ch on the Churchill NA47. It has a very interesting name as well. It has a very interesting name. Uh, I've I haven't been aware of this vehicle at all, although it does seem to be familiar, but but I personally haven't really... I mean, the thing is, I have seen it in a different uh, game as a premium vehicle, but I'm not entirely sure where exactly, in any case. In any case, let's go back to the tank. The Churchill is basically the mouse of Tier 2. It is a very... Very, very heavily armored vehicle, although as just like the mouse, it is it is not invincible. It has weak spots that you should be covering, and if you if you do cover the weak spots really well, then the tank is going to be performing really really well. I mean, really well. it's going to perform really well regardless, but it is a very, it is surprising a very fun vehicle to drive. I think what's making it so satisfying is the fact that you can shoot very quickly. And in this game, shooting quickly is definitely a very big advantage since you can disable more vehicles uh, in a short amount of time. So fast reload is definitely very much welcomed and it's a very nice little feature of this tank. Now the penetration is yeah it is not the best I mean I believe even the K I think the average penetration of the KV2 is like 75 meters or, or might even be 90 I kind of forgot what's the number on the KV2 but the KV2 doesn't have to penetrate to kill if the shell just impact impacts the the hull of the enemy it just breaks it which is a very fun little feature that high caliber shells can have now even the t-34 can appear to be heavily armored for churchill but that was a that was a nice little catch and that's also double kill okay perfect so definitely this this is a very interesting vehicle. Now, when it comes to reverse speed, I would say don't even use the reverse. I don't know why they never bothered to put like a fast reverse gear on this thing, since sometimes if you have to pull back, right, you have to go in reverse. You can't just rotate and show the sides of rear on your target, on your on your enemy. So, the thing that I don't like about this tank is the reverse uh, reverse speed. Two kilometer per hour is horrendous one of the worst reverse speeds that I have seen. I mean the reverse speed of the entire Avenger platoon is not is not good. Uh, maybe just maybe one tank has a good reverse speed but even the Avenger has like a two kilometer per hour reverse so yeah the reverse gear the reverse speed on all of these vehicles in this platoon is horrendous. So, in order to turn around to move, you have to rotate the, the whole hole. You can't really 
go in reverse, so they have to rotate the vehicle in order to go, in order to change position, or basically, if you want to go in, in reverse, you have to just uh, rotate the whole tank and just drive backwards by going forward, basically, which is uh, annoying in some cases. In some situations, definitely a huge disadvantage, but that's just how the church works. At least this, at least this church. We will see how the other ones, how the other churches will work. I mean, there is a black prince as well. I mean, overall, the church's hall kind of is iconic. I mean, just look at this thing. You can recognize the church from anywhere. One of the most, you know, not really iconic tanks, but one of the more recognizable tanks. The ammo is stored in the back of the turrets. And in order to disable the tank, you just have to shoot the upper plate on the frontal armor. Basically, you will see that huge circular hatch. That's where you should shoot. Basically, that would be the driver's hatch. Very similar to how the KV-1 and KV-2's driver hatch is also a very big weak spot on the frontal armor on, on the Churchill, on the, on the KV. And let's go to the next match. It's been pretty good so far. As I mentioned before, this is a surprisingly fun to drive vehicle. I expected the Churchill to be... Well... What did I even expect from this tank? Didn't expect that it would be useful first. Because I know that the the Churchill tank lineup has short belts and five mm cannons, which are not impressive when compared to the other other main tanks, other uh, other tanks within the tier. I love how my team is blocking my view. I can't do anything when my team is blocking me around. Oh well, let's uh, let's keep on moving forward. I guess we'll try to capture the base. At close range, as you can see, the, the accuracy seems to be really good. And that was the place where you should shoot a Churchill. Well, that's the exact position where I shot it at. One hit there and the tank is destroyed, of course. You can prevent tanks from shooting that position by angling the, tur the Churchill. Angling is basically the most important thing on this tank. Now, angling on the previous Churchill was working the same way, but the previous Churchill had a problem with the turret. The, the turret was way too flat, basically. So if you angle the armor, the, the enemies will just shoot your turret. And yeah, flat turret means it's just going to be penetrated very easily. So yeah, when we are looking at armor, this Churchill is definitely much better. It has a more oval turret, and it doesn't have a lot of flat surfaces, which is very nice since it means that you don't have to worry about taking much hits in the turrets. Of course, you should still uh, avoid taking hits, uh, since, you know, that's just how the game works, but... But if you do get hit, there's a good chance that the armor on this thing will hold. After all, this is one of the more heavily armored heavy tanks in uh, in low tier. Not, the, I would say, not not the best one for sure. But it gets the job then, so I'm not really, you know, c 
complaining about the church's performance. And looks like this match is going to be a a surprisingly easy victory. Well, maybe not, maybe famous last words, in any case. Oh look, T34 destroyed, a very nice hit. And second T34, double kill, that was good. Am I going to get some more kills? Well, I'm not going to go anywhere in reverse, that's for sure. The reverse speed is so bad on this thing. Well, let's keep on moving, I guess. I mean, the match is kind of already over, so... Oh, look! A Sherman. And, I, and it bounced. This is the, one of the problems with this vehicle. It, it has, like... It has good penetration, but any angled armor just going to, you know, bounce. Which, which is what angled armor should do, but... Yeah, if it were a different tank, if it were a KV-2, yeah, they would definitely wreck that Sherman. But in any case, that was a nice little match. A uh, very good match, actually. Pretty happy with uh, the outcome. Alright, well, uh, that was a very nice little run with the Churchill. I mean, this this tank is very fun. I'll definitely, definitely try it out. It is a fun vehicle, fun new tank. Has fantastic armor, good performance. And overall, uh, definitely a nice upgrade over the last one so with that being said hope you guys enjoyed if you would like to support me feel free to like and subscribe and with that being said stay safe as always i'll see you next time